Today I'm going to do a bit of gardening. And as I was planning the work in my head, I realized that there were quite a few analogies between data governance and gardening. So let's use the gardening analogy to understand how we could establish a good data governance program. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Videos are added each week on data management and data governance topics to help you become a more knowledgeable data professional. Today's video will use a gardening analogy to understand how we could establish a good data governance program. Yes, I'll do some actual gardening to prove the point, so please stay until the end of the video to see how the garden will look like in the end. Now on to gardening. Now on to our gardening analogy and data governance. And first really is to understand the driver. So let's take my gardening initiative. You see, we're sharing this fence with our neighbors and we feel that this current setup doesn't offer us too much privacy. As you can see, when I'm on our patio, it's not just my cat that can see me, but anybody sitting behind this fence. So privacy to me is the main driver. Of course, a bit more greenery would also aid with the overall aesthetics. And seeing how I love the outdoors and nature so much, it would also help me with my well-being. So we have privacy, aesthetics, and well-being as my drivers for my today's initiative on doing a bit of gardening. A similar driver can be identified for data governance as well. Most often, ensuring regulatory compliance such as GDPR is one of the main reasons that in the past years, a lot of organizations started investing in data governance. And let's not forget of the recent Citibank fine. The Treasury Department's Office of the Controller of the Currency has hit Citibank with a whopping $400 million fine for deficiencies in enterprise-wide risk management, compliance risk management, data governance, and internal controls. That's definitely a good driver for investing in data governance, don't you think? What's your take on this? What do you think is a more effective driver? The carrot or the stick? Please let me know in the comments below. By the way, the carrot is one of my cat's favorite toys. It's filled with catnip. And as you can see, he goes crazy for this stuff. Now, why do we need to understand the drivers? Because it will show us what we should focus on. In the case of my gardening, I know I want some sort of bushes to cover enough of the fence that will provide me with the privacy that I need. For data governance, it will show us what we should prioritize first because we can spend resources on improving everything from the start. So maybe one of the first few things that we want to invest in is to develop and enforce our data policies and procedures related to GDPR compliance. Now let's go to the garden and get our hands dirty because the second is about prepping our foundation. Similar to prepping soil for gardening, we need to remove the rocks and obstacles that will create problems with creating a data governance program. We need to remove as much barriers as we can, and this means a lot of communication. We need to make sure that our employees, our colleagues, understand the value of data governance. We need to ensure that they understand why we're doing this in the first place. Who is doing this? When is this being done? What is being done? And most importantly, what's in it for them? Let's face it, a data governance implementation infers some sort of a change. So we need to have all stakeholders on board for the journey so that we could reduce the resistance to change. Again, we need to pour in knowledge and information as to what will be done, what is being done, maybe even what has been done in the past. And again, I'll say it again, what's in it for them? And here's a gardening tip while we're at it. Before putting the plant in the hole that you've dug, add plenty of water so that the plant's roots are bathing in the water. This tends to increase the plant's success of thriving in its first few days. So the third step is planting. For data governance, you need to start developing and planting the policies, the procedures, framework, roles and responsibilities on how data is handled during its acquisition and creation, maintenance, dissemination, and even archival and destruction. This can sound overwhelming because there's a lot of work, and yes, there is a lot of work. There's a lot to be done there. 
But just as with planting, you need to do it one step at a time. You can't plant everything at once, unless you have a lot of budget and you can hire a lot of people and do all these changes at once. But guess what? That's not even sustainable because data governance also requires a cultural change that takes time and money can't solve it completely. So you should do everything a step at a time. If you don't know what step to take first, I recommend looking into a data governance maturity model. Please check out this video if you'd like to learn more about data governance maturity models. And don't forget to check out my online course on everything that you need to know about data governance maturity models. I'll definitely post a link to it below this video. Once the planting has finished, we need to maintain our garden. If we don't water it, if we don't ensure the soil has enough nutrients, if we don't take out the weeds, our plants could perish. Similar, our data governance program. Everything that we sow, everything that we plant needs to be taken care of. Data governance is not a one-time investment. Data changes. Even if it's clean, certain data, just by its nature, goes bad. Like physical addresses and phone numbers. This data can change and it just decays over time. It goes from good to bad just by the virtue of not updating it. Regulations also change. Technology evolves. Our business needs can shift. And so our data governance program needs to reflect these changes and evolve with the times. Lastly, and this is the best part, reaping the rewards. One of the key benefits of data governance is better decision making. This applies to both the decision making process as well as the decisions themselves. Well governed data is more discoverable, making it easier for the relevant parties to find useful insights. It also means decisions will be based on the right data, ensuring greater accuracy and trust. In turn, this could lead to better service offerings, more customers, and just an overall increased revenue. Data governance enables increased operational efficiency, better data quality, and hence improved results from any program and any project that relies on good data, such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. And of course, data governance also ensures regulatory compliance. That's what we started with as one of the main drivers, right? What about my garden? Well, I can definitely now enjoy a higher level of privacy. I think it looks quite nice and it's definitely contributing to my well-being. What do you think? How do you think it looks right now? Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on the upcoming content. Thank you.